Good evening and welcome to the inaugural lecture of the brand new Voiceless Rethinking Seminar Series and the very first animal law lecture to be hosted by the University of Queensland in conjunction with the Centre for Public, International and Comparative Law. By way of introduction, my name is Katrina Craig and I am a solicitor currently practising in Brisbane uh, while also completing my PhD at the UQ's TC Byrne School of Law on a part-time basis with Associate Professor Jonathan Crow, who is uh, speaking later tonight as my supervisor. My research focuses on the laws and regulations, or lack thereof, relating to intensive farming and slaughter practices in Australia. Tonight, I will be providing a brief background as to the motivation for having the event at the University of Queensland. But first, on behalf of the University of Queensland, I would like to thank Voiceless for their cooperation, enthusiasm, professionalism and tireless efforts in not only uh, organising this premier event, but for the invaluable work they are doing in raising the profile of animal law in the community, in universities, in the legal profession and in the political arena. I would also like, like to thank Ms Tracy Geeson, partner of Cooper Geeson and founder of the locally based organisation Brisbane Lawyers uh, Educating and Advocating for Tougher Sentences. Uh, or Bleats as it is more commonly known, for taking the time out of her busy schedule to attend tonight, along with her colleagues Tracy Jackson and Annabelle Buchanan. I would also like to thank Ms Zoe Black for making time to attend on behalf of RSPCA Queensland and Chris, uh, Christina Jackson, of, uh, who is the Queensland Coordinator of the Brisbane Animal, uh, sorry, the Barristers Animal Welfare Panel. Uh, most of all, I would like to thank the students sitting in this room tonight for taking time to come to a lecture on a Thursday night. You are the motivation for this event because, armed with the knowledge that you gain throughout your university life, you are the educators, decision makers, policy writers, philosophers, critical thinkers, political analysts and legal practitioners of tomorrow. As is likely the case with all sitting here tonight, I have always loved animals. However, it was not until the third year of my undergraduate degree at another university that I discovered my passion for animals could be paired with the legal knowledge I had acquired throughout my university degrees. This discovery was due to my enrolment in an intensive summer elective of animal law, during which my eyes and mind were opened to the potential influence that well-informed legal practitioners can have on the lives of millions of animals in various capacities throughout the world. To me, this highlighted the importance of having animal law made available to students in universities to educate and provide them with the tools to make important progressive decisions in the real world. It is due to the innovative and forward-thinking nature of the University of Queensland, with its exceptional reputation both domestically and abroad, that we have been able to host this event and illustrate to students, community members and legal practitioners the possibilities that can be found in this revolutionary area of law. Animal law is multifaceted and features a huge breadth of different issues relating to farmed animals, companion animals, animals used in experiments and in entertainment, wild animals, zoo animals and marine life. It is a large interface of various disciplines such as philosophy, international trade and policy, property law, psychology, administrative law, politics, agriculture, education and veterinary science. Animal law has been referred to as the next great social justice movement. As with all great so social justice movements, such as women's rights or racial equality, it all has all started small and is gradually building a robust following based on science, politics, law and community action to generate significant positive change for a more just society. As a result of my own experience and the rate at which animal law is gaining momentum in both the community and the professional world, I believe that it is incredibly important that students have the opportunity to learn more about the area of animal law. It is this belief that led me to contact Voiceless to coordinate a lecture in which students could gain an insight into the types of contemporary issues relevant to animal law in our society. To this end, Associate Professor Jonathan Crow and I have developed a short online survey in order to provide the university with accurate data regarding how many students at UQ are interested in undertaking animal law as part of their undergraduate or postgraduate degrees. A link to this survey is available um, <laughs> at uh, this address and we would very much appreciate if you could take three minutes of your time tonight um, to complete this survey so we can ascertain if or how animal law may be provided to students both future and present at the University of Queensland. Again I would like to thank Voiceless, our special guests, the students, legal professionals and active community members for taking the time to attend this seminar tonight. I have no doubt that it will be a very enjoyable, insightful and thought-provoking evening. I will now pass over to Emmanuel, legal counsel at Voiceless, who will introduce tonight's topic and our expert speakers.